Hello, my Tubies, my TikTokers, and my Twitters. She the true love here, and I was lying here. You know me. My mind is always at work. I wasn't feeling too great today. I uh, I just wasn't feeling so great. Not my normal, happy, peppy, cheerful, pleasant self. But, you know, you have good days, and then you have days that can be challenging. I went to my Christian meeting, and that kind of lifted my spirits. Um, I was just laying here thinking about when people fall off and when people make mistakes, you know, we're not supposed to judge people or condemn people. At the same time, before a person draws a conclusion, I don't judge or condemn people, but I do come to a conclusion about a person and about a situation. And in order to come to the proper conclusion about things and about people, you have to be willing to listen to their reasons, not excuses, because an excuse means it should be excused. However, a reason, when a person is trying to give you the reason, that's the only way you're going to draw or come to the proper conclusion about the situation or about the matter at hand. You know, you have a lot of people who they feel that you are not uh, taking accountability or you're not owning it, or you're not being responsible anytime you try to explain yourself. They feel that you're trying to let yourself off the hook. No, you're not. What you're trying to do is to, number one, get them up off their high horse because they look like a circus clown on their high horse and they look like a jackass, excuse my French. But the reason why people want to try to explain, and I'm learning a lot at these fellowship meetings that I'm going to, and I'm listening to these people not give excuses, but they're giving reasons why certain things transpired the way that it did. And when you have people who automatically want to condemn you and judge you, you know, you have to pray for them. That's all you can do. You know, I, I've always been a person. I've got to know why you did what you did. I've always been like that. But I've talked to people in my women's group also that I also attend <coughs> and... <clears throat> They was talking about when somebody hurts them, they don't want to know the reason. They don't care. I just know you hurt me and they don't care. And I also look at a lot of Dr. Phil between uh, Jehovah, Jesus, my Bible, Joyce Myers and Dr. Phil and Priscilla Shire. Those are my people who help to keep me sane. I love Dr. Phil. Oh my God. I love this man. I learned so much from him along with Joyce Myers. At the same time, there's always a reason why people do what they do, whether they fall off or whatever happens.